Which of the following is the earliest sign of hypovolemic shock? Two options are cyanosis, decreased blood pressure, tachycardia, or loss of consciousness. The correct answer is C. That is tachycardia. Tachycardia is the body's early response to volume loss to maintain cardiac output. Blood pressure may still be normal in early shock. Question number two: A patient in septic shock is mostly likely to exhibit which clinical finding? Two options are bradycardia, cold and clammy skin. warm flushed skin or hypertension the correct answer is c that is warm flushed skin in early septic shock vasodilation causes warm and flushed skin due to increased perfusion later stages may show cool skin question number 3 Which type of shock results from a severe allergic reaction? Two options are hypovolemic, cardiogenic, anaphylactic, or obstructive. The correct answer is C. That is anaphylactic. Anaphylactic shock occurs due to widespread histamine release. leading to vasodilation and respiratory compromise question number 4 in cardiogenic shock the primary problem is loss of blood volume decreased cardiac output vasodilation or increased peripheral resistance the correct answer is b that is decreased cardiac output Cardiogenic shock occurs when the heart cannot pump effectively, reducing blood flow to tissues. Question number five: Which laboratory finding is most consistent with septic shock? Two options are increased hematocrit, hypernatremia, elevated lactate levels, or low white blood cell count the correct answer is c that is elevated lactate levels elevated lactate indicates tissue hypoxia due to impaired perfusion a hallmark of septic shock hello friends welcome back to dear competitive exam youtube channel today you are attending 100 most repeated and most important question answer session based on shock and this is the part 1 of this series so let's challenge your quality of learning let's see what will be your score out of 50 from this part 1 so do watch this video completely to make yourself more fit to answer any kind of question and at the end if you find this video helpful then please do like subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams let's continue question number 6 which of the following types of shock is caused by a pulmonary embolism two options are obstructive distributive cardiogenic or hypovolemic the correct answer is a that is obstructive a pulmonary embolism blocks blood flow creating a mechanical obstruction in circulation question number 7 which medication is commonly used as a vasopressor in shock management two options are furosemide norepinephrine atropine or diazepam the correct answer is b that is norepinephrine norepinephrine causes vasoconstriction 
increasing blood pressure and hypotensive shock status. Question number 8. What is a hallmark feature of neurogenic shock? Two options are tachycardia, hypotension with bradycardia, cold clammy skin or increased urine output. The correct answer is B that is hypotension with bradycardia. Neurogenic shock disturbs sympathetic tone causing low blood pressure and slowed heart rate. Question number 9. The priority nursing intervention for a patient in anaphylactic shock is Your options are Apply warm blankets Start IV fluids Administer epinephrine or insert urinary catheter. The correct answer is C that is administer epinephrine. Epinephrine contracts the allergic reaction by bronchodilation and vasoconstriction. Question number 10. Which position is recommended during the early stage of hypovolemic shock? Two options are high Fowler's, Trendelenburg, supine with legs elevated or prone? The correct answer is C that is supine with legs elevated. The position improves venous returns to the heart, enhancing cardiac output during early shock. Question number 10. Which finding indicates that fluid resuscitation in shock is effective. Two options are blood pressure remains low, urine output is 35 ml per hour, respiratory rate increases, or skin remains cyanotic. The correct answer is B that is urine output is 35 ml per hour. Adequate urine output indicates improved renal perfusion and effective fluid resuscitation. Question number 12. What is the primary cause of hypovolemic shock? Two options are spinal cord injury, myocardial infarction, hemorrhage or allergic reaction. The correct answer is C that is hemorrhage. Loss of intravascular volume due to bleeding leads to hypovolemic shock. Question number 13. Which vital sign change is most indicative of worsening shock? Two options are decreased respiratory rate, decreased heart rate, drop in systolic blood pressure or increase in oxygen saturation? The correct answer is C that is drop in systolic blood pressure. A falling systolic pressure shows failure of compensatory mechanisms in shock. Question number 14. A patient with neurogenic shock has hypotension. In that situation, what is the appropriate nursing action? Two options are Give antihypertensive, Elevate the head of bed Monitor for reflex bradycardia Or administer IV fluids The correct answer is D that is administer IV fluids. IV fluids support circulating volume and help restore blood pressure in neurogenic shock. Question number 15. Which clinical sign is least likely in hypovolemic shock? Your options are cool extremities, flat neck veins, Bounding pulses or, or tachypnea. 
The correct answer is C there is bounding pulses. Weak or thready pulses are typical in hypovolemic shock due to decreased perfusion. Question number 16. In distributive shock, what is the main circulatory issue? Your options are blood loss, heart failure, vasodilation or cardiac tamponade. The correct answer is C that is vasodilation. Distributive shock causes widespread vasodilation leading to relay 2 and hypovolemia. Question number 17. Which type of shock is characterized by increased systematic vascular resistance and low cardiac output? Your options are septic, cardiogenic, anaphylactic or neurogenic. The correct answer is B that is cardiogenic. Cardiogenic shock presents with poor heart pump function and increased vascular resistance. Question number 18. Which symptom best differentiates anaphylactic shock from other types? Your options are cyanosis, decreased urine output, bronchospasm or tachycardia. The correct answer is C that is bronchospasm. Bronchospasm is unique to anaphylactic shock and compromises airway patency. Question number 19. Which assessment indicates improvement in shock patient? Your options are mottled skin, capillary refill for seconds, warm and dry skin or increasing confusion. The correct answer is C that is warm dry skin. Warm dry skin reflects improved perfusion and stabilization of circulatory status. Question number 20. What is the primary goal in managing any shock? Lower blood pressure, treat infection, restore tissue perfusion or prevent bradycardia. The correct answer is C that is restore spasm. tissue perfusion. The fundamental objective is to ensure adequate oxygen and nutrient delivery to tissues. Question number 21. A client with shock has cold, clammy skin. So, what does this indicate? Your options are high cardiac output, decreased perfusion, elevated temperature, or allergic reaction. The correct answer is B that is decreased perfusion. Cold, clammy skin is a classic sign of reduced blood flow to the skin and extremities. Question number 22. Which electrolyte imbalance is common in shock? Your options are hypokalemia, hypernatremia, hyperkalemia or hypocalcemia. The correct answer is C that is hyperkalemia. Cellular breakdown and acidosis during shock can lead to elevated potassium levels. Question number 23. What acid base imbalance is typically seen in shock? Your options are respiratory alcoholysis, metabolic alcoholysis, Metabolic acidosis or respiratory acidosis. 
The correct answer is C that is metabolic acidosis. Lactic and acid buildup due to tissue hypoxia causes metabolic acidosis in shock. Question number 24. What medication is used first in anaphylactic shock? Two options are diphenhydramine, epinephrine, albuterol or hydrocortisone. The correct answer is B that is epinephrine. Epinephrine is the first line treatment due to its vasoconstrictive and bronchodilatory effects. Question number 25. Which nursing action is critical during septic shock? Two options are Administer insulin Monitor temperature hourly Begin broad spectrum antibiotics or Keep patient NPO. The correct answer is C that is begin broad spectrum antibiotics. Early antibiotic therapy is essential to control the infection and reduce mortality. Dear friends, if the video was helpful, then please support us by liking, sharing and subscribing our channel. And please comment your score out of 25. What's the score? Please comment that. And the second part of this series will be uploaded in next two days. So thank you so much for watching and best of luck for your exams. Take care.